just not willing to settle. I know I'm capable of more. As corny as it sounds, I really do believe that I have a purpose. I really do believe that I was put on this earth to help others become the strongest version of themselves physically and mentally. It's time to train. I enjoy many different types of training. I enjoy what we get to do at Five Star, where it's super high energy, electric, positive energy, and uh, you're always leaving sore, sweaty, and smiling. But uh, I always like the kind of uh, isolation training too, at least for me and where I'm at in my, uh, in my life. I really enjoy taking two hours and just having music on with my thoughts. And I think that's something I get a lot out of weightlifting because, uh, you know, I, you have time in between sets, you're just taking your time, and during that time I'm, I'm thinking a lot. And one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about lately is the vision of Five Star and what we're trying to create and how I am just obsessed <laughs> with not only accomplishing our mission, but making sure that we are doing it to the best of our ability. I'm, I'm obsessed, it's all I think about. Um, and there is something to be said about having balance in life and you definitely need it and there's times where you gotta pull back and focus on other things, but I just truly do believe that one of my purposes, whether I was born to do it or not, or whether I just created it, was, uh, to impact others so things are changing a lot at five star and when I say changing a lot I just mean how we do things uh, how we run things everything we do we're learning from and uh, even though <laughs> we've been having good success as, as far as the business is concerned and we've been able to impact a lot of people I'm not satisfied with where where at. I'm not satisfied with just helping 250 people. You know, why stop there when we could have such a bigger impact and why why stop there with the service we're giving our members when you know we could potentially give two or three times the amount of service just by constantly improving. So, it's exciting. That's been on my mind lately. Hopefully, uh, these thoughts will ferment during this workout. Today was an upper body push workout, which uh, I was feeling really good going into. I had a good plan and I was ready to execute. Here you can just see me doing some handstand push-ups. Instead of going for like a max set, I was just kind of getting warmed up with them, doing some power uh, sets of one to two, nothing too crazy. Here I'm getting ready for my bench press. One of the things that uh, made me make me look odd to others, but something that helps me really get in the zone is closing my eyes and focusing on my outcome before every set. So I like to take about 30 seconds to do that. I visualize me completing the sets among some other things that, that will get me motivated. And then I do my set. And uh, it's been a while since I've bench pressed actually, but um, it's, it felt really good today. I've been really focusing on my mobility, um, opening up my lats, opening up my, my chest, and uh, it's definitely paying off because this felt so good and to be able to go back to two plates, uh, 225 for sets of six with no, uh, I guess, bench press leading up to this, it felt really good. Uh, from there, went over to some overhead press and uh, didn't go too crazy. I think those are 40s. I just focused on explosion at the bottom, making sure that my shoulder stayed where it needed to stay. Um, Sometimes if I'm not focused on keeping my shoulder in the back of the socket, it will uh, kind of sublex a little bit and cause me pain. So flexing my abs to the best of my ability while pressing overhead. From here I went over to some dips. Same thing with the dips. Uh, if I don't focus on it, my shoulder can be in the wrong position quite easily. So by keeping my shoulder uh, pressed back, by creating that external rotation, bringing that elbow in by my side, it uh, really allows me to keep a stable joint 
while I, of course, engage the tries and the chest. True test right there. 100 push ups, as many as I could at a time, moving forward. The reason I did that is it's been a while since I've gotten really, really uncomfortable when I've worked out. A lot of my workouts have consisted with the mindset of don't get injured. And because of that, I pulled back on my intensity to a fault where I haven't really stepped outside my comfort zone in a while. That made me step a little bit. Man, when you don't feel like you can do any more reps, I challenge you to step outside your comfort zone. When you're in session this week, I want you to think about, man, what, what, what can I do to just get a little uncomfortable? And the reason I want you to get uncomfortable is because that's what leads to growth. You don't get better, you don't become the best you can be by just doing what you can already do. You have to step outside and do a little bit more than you think you can. Do that every time you train. Put that into other aspects of your life and it will lead to a rich life. have been really interesting. I've been taking a good amount of time per day to think about the vision for Five Star. Because when I started Five Star, I definitely had a vision, but the vision I'm finding changes over time as this company grows. And, you know, at first it was, I want to be able to just influence 50 people because I was doing personal training, working with 20 people a week on average, multiple times per week, but still 20. And that, man, it would just be so cool to in, impact double the amount of people. But on the same token, I wanted to make more money because I was living at my parents' house. I was at a point that 
wanted to move out, I just wanted to be independent. So a lot of my drive to work really hard came from, you know, I just want to be independent, as well as, of course, help more people. And I think a big driver for me too was I wanted to be able to have a staff. And uh, for the reason, it may sound a little bit weird, but the reason I wanted a staff was so that I could grow individuals. And I know that sounds weird, but what I mean by that is when I started martial arts, I am not, I am not the person that I was when I started martial arts at eight years old. Of course I wouldn't be, right? But I had a mentor when I was around 11 and 13 years old. And whether he knew he was doing it or not, he was really influencing me and making me a better leader, making me um, a better person, and, and all these different aspects of, um, of life. And I was so, so grateful for that, because I know a lot of people don't get that, and I kind of just fell into my mentor. So I wanted to be able to do that for others. You know, and that's how Abe actually started at Five Star. Uh, I was able to give him some direction. I was able to give him some passion. And that's brought us to where we are today. And the more time I think about my vision for Five Star, I'm able to really think about how big do I believe we can get this thing? How much of an impact do I believe we can have? Why settle? If I can give more, if I can create more, not just for people that we could influence through Five Star, but for my staff, why not? You know, let's see how much impact we can actually have. And I think that there's been some fear through different parts of my journey in Five Star. When we started becoming successful and I was able to move out of my parents' house and I was able to buy a car, um, and I was able to save money, I started to get comfortable. I started to get to this point where I was like, oh, I have to make sure I can keep this. And I, I got this scarcity mindset, this mindset that, you know what? I can't lose this, so I have to play it safe. I have to play it safe, you know? And don't try new things. And you know, what, what we're doing is good enough. But the enemy of excellence is good enough. just not willing to settle. I know I'm capable of more. As corny as it sounds, I really do believe that I have a purpose. I really do believe that I was put on this earth to help others become the strongest version of themselves physically and mentally. And that's just not something I'm saying. That's not just something that I'm putting in this video because, you know, it, it sounds good to you or it sounds good to whoever's watching this something that I truly believe in. And I'm not going to stop until I've achieved it.